Great Grand Rising, everyone. Halito, Hawa, to all the people around. I just wanted to do this real quick video. It'll be very quick. But um, as we're getting deeper into the counterfeit spirit that walk among us, it's going to be extremely important for us to understand that, you know, through the research that I have been doing, I knew that there was some missing time, some missing history, something that just didn't fit into place. And I believe with the help of all of the new and also old uh, information that are, that is out there with all these new, uh, I, I say, universities and indigenous teachers, um, there's some clarity that's coming into place in terms of the missing history. There is a missing period between the time of the indigenous and the time of the colonial. There's a, there's a missing piece where there was a war. Now, I constantly call, talk about the war. The war that I always talk about that is difficult to pinpoint. And this may be indicative of what happened with the Civil War and the Moorish president or half Moorish president named Abraham Lincoln that completed the war. Wow. Uh, that's that's a lot to say uh, all at once. But there's some missing history. And I've been going through a lot of the, how can I say, the, the buildings, the, the buildings, the cities, what was here during the Civil War. And how our people, when I say our people, the indigenous Americans... The ones that were here where the war was placed upon, how they built buildings. And in some up and coming videos, what I'm going to have um, lectures, what I'm going to have is how to determine the different periods of time of missing history between the time of what we call the indigenous Americans, the American Indians, and the time of the Moorish people or the ones that came here from across the pond and committed war on the American Indians. I'm not talking about Native Americans at all. Um, there are two different building periods. And, and how very quickly for you to be able to see this is go out and take a look at your government agencies, the old government buildings, your old school buildings. Um, if you have some old colleges, take a look at some of these colleges. Take a look at the dates a lot of these dates are in the 18 and 1700s. And one of the things that we have to understand is that all these buildings have the same type of construction. And now what they're saying is, is that they're Romanesque. Which, if my hypothesis is true, the whole entire Roman period is something to be questioned as well. This is the reason why understanding history is so very important but go and take a look at these buildings and you notice that these buildings are cathedral s as well and if my hypothesis is correct that there was a serious destruction period of the indigenous population incas mayans aztecs um and others olmecs zai um of the americas and something between the 1500s, maybe even before then, and the late 1700s, 1800s took place. And that was the Great War. And part of that was part of the Civil War. And the Civil War may have nothing to do with what you were talked about in terms of, quote unquote, ending slavery. Um, it may have been a war against brothers, which was true. But this, but this war, which actually began when I'm starting to find out, perhaps maybe in the 1700s, was a war against the what you would call the Moorish and Hebrew people from across the pond against the indigenous people. And I'll have a lot more on this. I don't want to. I don't want to get too deep into this. But this is where the Tamahu. Um, the Ruti, the Nazi come into place, and the Hemeru, Hemeru being 
uh, what we are now today, uh, the the American Indians, as what we're classified as. Tamahu and the 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 Ruti and Nazi are being the West and Afri- West and East African people, and the Tamahu being people basically from Europe, uh, along with the Hiklos people, which are the modern day what you call Jews today, and that goes all into Asia Minor, etc. So. I'm going to have a lot more on this. There's going to be a lot more coming on. Go out, take a look around in your communities and take a look at these buildings that there is no real construction history for. Take a look at them and then look up um, um, mud fossils, the mud flood, those kinds of things, and also melted brick castles, melted brick castles in the Americas astonishing, amazing of what's really going on out there. The history that you've been told could be 100% a lie. And I really do mean that. It, it, it's, it's, it's crazy what actually may have taken place if my hypothesis is true that they came over here and started this war against the indigenous people, which we all know but then there's a missing missing period as to how they broke down what we built, used our very own stones to build a lot of these Romanesque type cathedral buildings that were here well before the 1700s. So, yeah, know your history, know who you are. Uh, it's gonna get real. It's gonna get real. Thanks a lot. Hoa, halito and great grand rising to us all. Peace, people.